what makes a champion. Hard work, talent, determination, a touch of pixie dust from the athletic gods. All those are good answers, but none of them decisive or exclusive in explaining greatness. What about adversity? No man gets to the top without having to climb his way up. No man succeeds without a struggle, overcoming obstacles. That certainly is the mark of a champion. If you haven't heard the story of the Gallaudet Bison football team, don't worry, neither have they. As J.K. Simmons reports, they live it. The sounds of football. The sounds of football at Gallaudet University. Let's go, defense, get ready. Let's go. We gotta play. We gotta play. We gotta play. Damn it, Derek. What are you doing? Six. That's the number of winning seasons Gallaudet has had since 1930. Head coach Ed Hottle is in his first season. Whenever you take a new job, especially in an environment that's very different from your own, uh, there's certainly a level of anxiety that's associated with that. Gallaudet plays against club and Division III teams. Coach Hoddle has no scholarships to give, and no excuses either. My kids here, they want to be college football players, and that's what they are. The difference between here and, and somewhere else is Somewhere else, more of them can hear. Gallaudet University, a school for the deaf and hearing impaired. In the realm of football, this is hallowed ground. It's where the huddle was invented. They've called on an outsider to rescue the football program. When I first hired Ed Hoddle, there was a lot of reaction from the players, from the community, from everyone. Can he sign? Can he sign? As far as signing previous to my coming here to Gallaudet, I had no experience at all in, uh, in sign language. On the first day of the job when he came here, I said, you must sign. Okay, tough guy. I started a two-hour study session with a sign language tutor. We did that five days a week, uh, every day leading up till when the kids reported for camp. Number one, number one, number one. Remember the screen, the screen. Syllables and sounds mean little. Here, the art of communication is the language of leadership. And leadership starts with the quarterback. Jason is completely deaf. He communicates 100% you know, through sign language and, and, and lip reading. But reading lips only gets you so far behind a face mask. There is no snap count. Instead, the quarterback nudges the center 
and the other nine on offense simply watch the ball. I think actually being deaf helps us to call an audible. The hearing people on defense, they don't know I'm calling an audible. I could be calling out a specific play. I could do that, and I do do that. The coaches on defense, they don't know anything about sign language, and so that's one of the pros that we have here. Then we can call it and run the play. The first four years here at Gallaudet, it was a little bit of a bumpy ride. There were no significant improvements. A lot of people were coming and going. But now, with Coach Hoddle, I can tell that the program's really going to be built up. Validation comes in many forms. On the eve of homecoming, Gallaudet's record is 7 and oh. For Coach Hoddle and his players, the aim is clear. Some might call life a game. Give your all, try to have fun. But nobody likes to lose. Our kids do great things and our kids do knucklehead things, you know, just like any other group of 18 to 23 year old young men do on every college campus in the country. They have the same problems that the hearing kids do. They're not that different. I think football is football. Regardless if you are hearing, deaf, blind, white, black, Hispanic, anybody can play football. Football is football. Fix your helmet. Damn it. I don't have, you gotta find a different helmet right now. Help him find a different, coaches, help me. He can't play without a helmet. Find him somebody else's helmet. In the hearing world, it's all about voices. And in the deaf world, it's all about facial expressions. We can tell when Coach Hoddle's mad, when he's angry. Get out of here, what are you doing? Oh, kick off. Hey, you gotta pay attention. His facial expressions look like this. They're like, I'm upset. What's the sign for upset? Upset. You're not playing. Hard. At times, do I raise my voice and, and, and get excited? Absolutely. Absolutely. If I was here for 100 years, I'd still do that. It's just who I am. I'm a very verbal and vocal person. Damn it. We gotta start converting third downs. Damn. Come on, offense. Let's go. Ed Hoddle is a football coach. He doesn't play favorites. He just wants to win. Pound that thing in there, boy. Come here, come here, hug. Give me a hug. That's a great job. That is a great job. Great job, defense. Good job. That's hard, baby. That's pride. Good job. Communication is a vital property of life. And actions speak volumes above words. Hell the job. Good job. Hey. I expect to win every game. If I ever expected to lose, I would never play. Their desire was not to be singled out and kind of, you know, well, that's the deaf school. Well, uh, it's not just the deaf school anymore. We're building a program here, and it's something that the kids are looking forward to, and, and obviously I'm very much looking forward to. Hey, defense, offense, hey, special teams, huh? Huh? <laughs> that's a kickoff return, right? Good job. Good job. 
Now, you're not finished. Oh, 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 oh,